guys, welcome back to my channel. Look at me posting another video. I didn't think that I would probably do that. It's fine. If you can hear weird music in the background, it's because there's people in my house and they make sounds. Uh, but yeah, so today we're gonna be doing a Primark type haul thing. So I got back from my trip to Ireland like a week and a half ago or so. And while I was there, I went to Primark um, and I am an American, so I've never been to Primark before. Um, and so I thought maybe we would just, I would just, <clears throat> I don't know, I mean, it's not a huge haul or anything, it's not super crazy. I'm just gonna show you some stuff that I got and what I think about it. Also, I'm sitting on the floor because my tripod is shitty and broken. Look at this lovely shadow. Wow, I've never done this before. Please, 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 please. Okay, so the first thing that I got is Actually, I got three of them. I got three pairs of boots. The thing about shoes at home in the US where I live, at least in Vermont, so to begin with, we only have like one or two stores. Like we we literally just got a Target and an H&M this year, maybe like two or three months ago. So the shopping options here are like super, super limited. Um, so I was really excited to go to Primark while I was in, um, <laughs> in Ireland. And actually I went to a bunch of stores, but that's the only one I really shopped at. I was getting super, super overwhelmed. I went to like River Island. Uh, I went to the, like their big, like three, four H&M. I went to Topshop. I just like don't know that much about these brands because I can't shop them here. Um, it's really busy, really overwhelming on a Saturday, like right in the shopping, um, like market of Dublin. I was like, Jesus Christ. I had to like go into the, um, Primark, um, fitting room and like hide for a little bit and have like this mini panic attack because I was like there are just so many people but anyway uh I was talking about shoes I've been looking for a couple pairs of boots for a while now at home everything seems to have like a tassel or a sparkle or like a bunch of studs or like 16 zippers and really I just wanted like a pair of plain shoes you know what I mean I just wanted a pair of black boots so I got these I have worn them so if there are little scuff marks on them that's why uh but they have these little zippers on the sides, there are zippers on both sides. I don't know if, I think the zip, wait, hang on. Yes. The zippers are only zippers on the inner side, but the outer side is just for decoration, but really simple, really cute. I like that. I got this in a size 38, which is a size seven here apparently, and also apparently a size five in the UK. Uh, but I really like those boots and they think they're pretty cute. They were, um, all the boots that I bought were between about like 12 to like 17, maybe like 19 uh, euros. So for here, like $12 would be like 11, six, or sorry, it would be like a 13.65 in American. Um, and then $17 would be like 19.33 ish. And then I think, I think one pair of them was 19 euros and in that case that'd be around like 21.61 us so like that's a pretty good deal for boots um i wore these like for a whole night and my feet hurt a lot but the thing is that i, I wore like two pairs in the same day and so like i wore some heels in the beginning of the day and then i wore regular shoes and then i had to then I wore more heels later because we're going to this pub crawl thing, which I ended up didn't finishing because I was tired and it was stressful. But um, so I really like them. And when I did wear them, not like for a museum for three hours or so was fine, but they don't have a lot of padding like in the bottom. But like for the price, I think they're great. They're not like, you know, all day shoes. They're more like, oh, I'm going to go do this nice thing. But I think they're nice shoes, especially because the price was pretty cheap because here, even if you went to somewhere like, um, like Payless or somewhere where they have cheaper shoes, they would still usually be like, like 20 would be like the bottom of how much they cost instead of like the most expensive. So I think that's pretty cool. The second pair of boots that I got are these little green ones. They're a little bit shorter than the other ones. They have these little gold zippers. Um, again, only the zipper on like the inner portion of the shoe is a real zipper, but they're pretty simple. They have some wrinkles in them. I have been wearing them but these are cute they're very simple they're a little bit lower than the other ones which I like and also I've just been like really obsessed with this like kind of army green color I own a bunch of things uh, I bought a sweatshirt recently from Diesel when I was in um, Ireland that's this color and I have some other stuff that's this color and I like this color um yeah and these ones I think were the cheapest of the shoes I think these ones were about 12 or 14 euros um, so there's that, and I like those. I wore these actually um, on our last night. We 
went to this fancy dinner thing um and i think they're really cute and they're pretty comfy and nice another thing like basically all these shoes my one thing was like there's just not a lot of like padding like under here so when you are wearing them your toes get a little bit tired uh but they fit really well these ones were also a size 38 slash size 7 in the u.s uh, i think they all were actually and then the last pair are these ones and i love these so much they're so cute they have really chunky heels they're these brown and then they've got like this elastic -y thing because they're like slip-ons um which i really love and i so i've been wearing a lot of bell bottoms recently and i don't have anything that's like the right height kind of so these are like the perfect height for my bell bottoms because they've got that like chunk to them um but i did wear these to a museum for like four i don't know if we had to walk all the way there then we were there for like maybe one or two hours and then we had to walk all the way back and by the end of that and like city streets and standing and stuff that was my feet were like in so much pain but when i wore them the other day just to like go to lunch and go shopping a little bit like it was fine it was not that bad i think it's just like the just standing and then walking places in heels like that when i'm actually not really that used to wearing heels was pretty crazy but like i said i really liked those i think those were the most expensive ones so maybe like 19 euros or something like that moving right along um we could just go up the body i guess so i got these tights right here they are um, fishnets, obviously. I haven't actually opened them yet, but I will show you them right now. Ta-da. They've got, like, the reason that I got them was, first of all, because they were only 4 euros for two pairs. So that's, like, 4 55 like, roughly 4 dollars US dollars. That's a pretty good price for two pairs of tights. Um, and they have these like really small, I don't know if you can tell, but I was looking for ones that would stretch out more because I have some with larger um, spaces between the fishnets and they don't, like when I wear them, they're like too tight kind of together. So I felt like if I bought smaller ones, maybe they would stretch out more. I don't know. I'm showing you this, but that's what those look like. Um, I got those in a size small and it said that size small was about USA four to eight and I'm like four six ish usually I also got these tights which are not in the package anymore but these are just some plain black tights they're really really soft um, and really thick they um, on the inside are like kind of like a fuzzy almost fleecy material you probably can't actually see that uh, but they're really, really soft, uh, and I'm excited to wear them because I don't know about you, but where I live, it's really hard to find tights for grown-ups that are, like, grown-ups. <laughs> tights for adults that are, like, actually thick and nice. Basically, all I can ever find are, like, pantyhose type tights, and these, like I said, are, like, super thick and soft, and it's winter here. It's super snowy, and it's really hard to find that, so I was excited to purchase these. Um, and they were four dollars also so i thought that was a good price four dollars uh euro four euros actually all right so next uh, i got this sweater that i actually have been wearing like constantly since i bought it i literally wore this yesterday it's this gray like cardigan sweater it's got these really nice big pockets i don't know if you can see that but <laughs> It's got these pockets um, that I super like. It's really, 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 really soft. And it has really nice long arms. I have really long arms, so I often find it kind of hard to like find things that are like, long enough. But as you can see, that's very long and nice and super soft and cute and just like a good like throw over type thing. So this one was 12 euros. So that's about 13.65 US, which is a really good deal. I don't know about you, but like when I'm shopping, things tend to be like 15, 20, 25 dollars. Like I usually don't find anything under 15 dollars. That seems to be this nice of a quality. So I really liked that about it. And also I'm just a really big fan of like really simple things, you know? So that's why I like that it was a good layer. I actually wore it with this cute dress I got from H&M that's like black. And I wore that to our like final or to our like pub crawl dinner or like thing. And it was really cute and I liked that a lot. Um, moving on to probably my favorite item that I got. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> so I was looking for a raincoat before I left um, to go to Ireland because I knew it'd be rainy. It's a rainy place. Um, it's winter here and no one was selling any raincoats. I couldn't find anything for adults that was a nice pink because as you can tell I like pink. My walls are pink. My outfit, my scrunchie is pink. Everything 
I don't know, I just like pink. Uh, but I wanted a pink raincoat or like a light blue, like maybe like this shirt color. But there wasn't really anything like that anywhere um, on Amazon or at home where that was like a reasonable price that had good reviews. But when I went to Primark, I saw this and I loved it. It has a hood. It's got these cute little like string ties that you can use to like pull and like tighten it. Um, it snaps shut. It has these really nice big pockets and they actually have snaps so you can like shut them and it's like the perfect color thing as you can see it like almost matches my wall i could like camouflage into the wall um it's definitely waterproof i wore it in the rain i will insert a really great picture of me <laughs> wearing it on a rainy day i look really thrilled i know um it was really cold we were at trinity campus in dublin and i was having a rough time but i actually wasn't sure if i wanted to buy this coat um at first but I like looked at it and I loved it and I was like, wow, that is like the perfect raincoat for me. It's the perfect color. It seems like good length and everything. Like it goes down pretty far, covers everything up, you know? Uh, but then I was like, eh, like, do I really need a raincoat? You know, like, eh. but then I ended up buying it like the second or third time. I think the third time we went to a Penny's while we were there, when we were in Dublin, I went to one kind of on my own and I finally was like, you know, I'm just buying this raincoat and I wore it in the rain and it was great. So I liked that about it. I have actually worn like most of these things while I've been home yet, so it's only been a little while. Also, it's definitely too cold to wear a raincoat. There is probably about two or three feet of snow outside right now because of the snowstorm, so everything's like closed and canceled. So we're all just like hanging out at home today, which is why there might be background noise because the whole family is home. And so moving on to the last thing. Okay, I also bought some underwear, but I'm not gonna show you those, but they were like three euros, so I think that was a good deal. Uh, the final thing we have are these sunglasses. These sunglasses, I think, were about three euros, so that's actually about $3.41 American. They have this nice, like, gradient to them, um, thin. Um, I really like this style, but I have a problem where, like, the little, like, things right here they like get stuck in my hair, uh, but I think these are super cute, super cheap. Like I have a lot of sunglasses. I think I probably have about 15 or so pairs of like funny glasses and sunglasses. And where I normally get them is this place called Earthbound, which is like a kind of like fair trade gift shop, kind of hippie vibe. They have really cool sunglasses, um, but those will be like upwards of 12 15 dollars for like one pair of sunglasses and this was like you know like three and a half or whatever so yeah this is i like them i think they're cool but it's me all right but yeah so that's what those looked like um so in total i think i spent about total i spent roughly like 110 euros so oh gosh i don't know what the conversion of that is right now but the point being like that's kind of a good amount of stuff for the amount of money that I spent and so far I'm liking all of the stuff. Um, the actual store was really nice. It was set up in like a way that I enjoyed though I did have a little bit of a tough time finding like women's clothes were in kind of a weird place. Like the shoes were so easy. It was just like go right upstairs, there's the shoes. I don't know. I liked it. It was cool. It was kind of like a way nicer target. Like the thing I loved about Primark was that it had colors that I liked and styles that I liked. Whereas like when I go to like stores like Walmart or like Target, it's like, ugh, like I don't really like the styles and then they're never really the colors that I like. And as you can tell, my colors are like pastels and pinks and stuff. Everyone was also pretty nice. Even though I got incredibly overwhelmed and confused about the way, the, sorry, I'm sitting on the floor, those are my knees. Um, I got really confused about the way that the dressing rooms worked though, because I, I'm not used to like having a number and then they like they like take your number and then you have like a bag and if there's anything you're not trying on they put in that bag and then you go in and then you have this there's like this little swingy gate thing I don't know if they're all like this but the one that I went to was um and then you go in and you, you try on your stuff and then you bring back the number and then they give you like your basket they ask you like you have a basket and then like yeah and then they'll read the number of whatever it is on your like little card thing and they give you your basket with your stuff and then you go pay and yeah um so I don't know, I was a fan of Primark, to be honest. I'd heard about it a lot. I'm really excited to see it. Other YouTubers that I've watched have done a lot of hauls or they talk about there, they'll be like, oh, this thing, I got it from Primark. So I was like really excited to see um, what it would be like. Sorry, I keep slouching. I should really sit up 
straighter um yeah also if you're wondering which i don't know if you were but this shirt that i'm wearing is a little totoro he's got um will may and sasuke on there and it's cute and i got this at um at um everyone's favorite store hot topic i know i don't really like to buy clothes hot topic my sister and I have this thing where it's like, it's okay to wear clothes from Hot Topic if you don't buy them at Hot Topic, which I know is kind of silly, but like shirts like this are an exception. Like you can wear like, you know, a fandom t-shirt or whatever, but like, like if you, you buy a pair of jeans and they say Hot Topic, like that's fine. It's just like, you can't buy them at Hot Topic. You have to get them from somewhere else. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Um, if there's something else you want to see, let me know and I will see you next time. Bye! <laughs> now I can't see your feet anymore. <laughs> Is that good? Really?